Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Sometimes a fancy looking model, it is actually quite easy. So today I'm going to show you the most easy way to create this fan style ring. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so we are going to starting from the scratch. Let me turn everything off first. And then we want to starting with the ring size. And again, whatever you are doing, always do the exact ring size because uh, otherwise they will be too big or too small after casting. All right, so now I have this ring and I, you can you can design whatever you like. I was doing spontaneous uh, for whatever design that I have and I, I'm, I'm just gonna draw whatever here. All right, it's it's a semi Mickey Mouse ring, but it's a bit ugly. But it's okay. It's just wanna show you things. All right, so now this is my ring. It's a semi Mickey Mouse outline, and then I would like to do on my right view and design the profile. So the first one might wanna go like this, coming down like this way. And the second one might want to go like this and coming down like this way. And I, I would like to have them a little bit more dramatic here, a little bit lower here. All right, so <clears throat> from something straight coming into something curved. If that worked for you, and then um, you would like to pick up those two and use the command twin curve. Right, and I have eight of them here. You can choose whatever that you like. Maybe eight is a little bit too jammed there. Maybe I want to do seven. Okay, so you're kind of looking at like whichever work for you. Okay, so now what we have is all this line there. Okay, with all this line, what I like to do is pick up all the line that I have. And uh, you can adjust, like this one is a little bit too close to each other and it may not show that much. Maybe I want this one, this one. Maybe adjust this one coming back a little bit, this one coming back a little bit. Yeah, it's just, just don't want them to like kind of stick to each other. All right, so now I have all of them. Let's go ahead to make them into the surface by extrude the surface straight and we want something over the ring size that we have. After that we're going to pick up those ring uh, size and the shape and we want to trimming the rest of it. And also don't forget the one in the middle. Okay so then as you can see I got a bunch of the surface there. Let me just pick up all the curve and hide it. Right. So now I have this and I just need to make them into solid. So I'm going to use the offset sur uh, surface and you want to make sure that you want it on both sides. This will be more equal. Uh, this then, let me say I want a 0.4 millimeter and see how that goes. So let's hit OK. All right. So double make sure that this is working fine. Um, and if you like and it will be better for the rendering, you can always uh, do a fillet edges. In this case, I'm going to do 0.2, so half of that size. So I should have really uh, round edges all the way around. All right, so now double make sure uh, we have a closed poly surface on each of them. And then all you need to do is bowling unit together. So this is our quick experiment with this layering fan style ring. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a lot more trick and tips for doing the jewelry cat design with the Rhino 3D software. Check out my course on my website at pjchandesign.com. Hope to see you in my course and thank you for watching. See you next.